On this, the 31st day of our preparation for our total consecration to Jesus through Mary, we are asked to meditate on a paracope from the imitation of Christ and also from true devotion. From the imitation of Christ. Trusting in your great goodness and mercy, Lord, I come as one sick to the physician, as one thirsty to the fountain of life, as one in need to the King of heaven. I come as a servant to my master, as a creature to my creator, as a dejected soul to my loving comforter. But why should you come to me? Who am I that, I, that you should give yourself to me? How can a sinner dare show his face in your presence? And why do you condescend to visit a sinner? You know your servant. You know he has no good in him. And therefore, you have no reason to grant him this great grace. Thus, I confess my unworthiness and I acknowledge your goodness. I praise your mercy and I give thanks to your boundless love. And from true devotion to Mary, those who undertake this holy slavery should have a special devotion to the great mystery of the incarnation of the word. Indeed, the incarnation is the mystery proper in this practice, inasmuch as it is a devotion inspired by the Holy Spirit. First, to honor and imitate the ineffable dependence which God the Son was pleased to have on Mary for his Father's glory and our salvation, which dependence particularly appears in this mystery, where Jesus is a captive and a slave in the bosom of his blessed mother and depends on her for all things. Secondly, to thank God for the incomparable graces he has given Mary and particularly for having chosen her to be his most holy mother, which choice was made in this mystery. These are the two principal ends of the slavery of Jesus and Mary. Because we are living in an age of intellectual pride and there are around us numerous puffed up scholars conceited with critical spirit who have plenty to say against the best established the most solid practices of piety, it is better for us not to give them any needless occasions of criticism. Hence, it is better to say, we are slaves of Jesus in Mary and call ourselves slaves of Jesus Christ rather than the slaves of Mary, taking the denomination of our devotion rather from its last end, which is Jesus Christ, then from the means to the end, which is Mary. We may use either term though. Another reason is that the principal mystery we celebrate and honor in this devotion is the mystery of the incarnation, wherein we can see Jesus only in Mary and incarnate in her bosom. Hence, it is more to the purpose to speak of the slavery of Jesus in Mary and of Jesus residing and reigning in Mary, according to that beautiful prayer, O Jesus living in Mary. Those who adopt this slavery ought to have a great devotion to saying the Hail Mary. Few Christians, however, enlightened, know the real value, merit, excellence, and necessity of the Hail Mary. It was necessary for the Blessed Virgin to appear several times to great and enlightened saints to show them the merit of it. 